The next guest uh, made his network television debut with us uh, last year, and we're all happy and excited to have him back with us tonight. Uh, he's a very funny man, and he has a comedy album. It's called Welcome to Somerville, and this is available on iTunes. Please welcome, say hello, Michael Somerville, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love this job. I, I used to work in an office, which I did not like because I'm not a morning person. I got the job and they're like, you can start Monday, 9 a.m. I was like, what time can I start Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> and now I, uh, I get plenty of sleep. If you're not getting enough rest, become a comedian. This is all I have to do today. Then I'm going back to bed. This is it. <laughs> Pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I get so proud of myself after a good sleep, right? Just walk around beaming. Everyone's like, did you fall in love? No, I slept 14 hours. <laughs> and people think we're lazy. Sleeping a lot's hard. Sometimes I wake up sweating. I'm like, well, wow, I was really trying. All right. <laughs> but my girlfriend is a morning person. First time she stayed over, got up at 5 a.m., started making coffee. I thought she was sleepwalking. <laughs> I go to the bathroom, she assumes I am up for the day. Hey, how did you sleep? I'll tell you when I'm done. This is, this is just halftime. Because this is what I do. I stay up late, I sleep in. She's always telling me what she did to make me feel like I missed something, you know? 6 a.m., I went for a run, had the whole park to myself. It was magical. Oh yeah, well at 6 a.m. I was a pirate. <laughs> cool too. <laughs> but that's uh, the key to relationships, right? You got to adjust to each other. And I think they change the man's life more. You ladies still do the same stuff. You just make us do it with you. Right? <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm eating salads. I own an umbrella. I'm just like, who am I? <laughs> got to talk on the phone. Phones for information, right? Tuesday, two o'clock. Goodbye. <laughs> She wants to chat 20 minutes about emotions. Uh, how do you feel right now? <laughs> Suddenly I'm stressed. <laughs> Last week, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Last week she got mad at me. She's like, you never call me for no reason. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> There's just too much technology, right? Guys can't hide anymore, right? Everyone's checking us in on Facebook and Twitter. Women are tagging their men like deer. You can't, you can't, you can't hide, right? She's like, hey, baby, I'm at work. No, you're not. I'm watching you on Google Earth. <laughs> she has a dog. I didn't have any pets growing up. I didn't realize how seriously you guys take them. They're little people to you, right? She, she, talks, she asked the dog questions. Do you want to go out? Do you have to, do you have to pee? Do you want to, do you, you look tired. Just want to lie down about 4 p.m. We'll have a snack. And the dog's looking at her like, lady, I can't speak. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Poor thing has the same expression I used to have in seventh grade Spanish class when the teacher would be like, como se llama? Mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> Como se llama? Rough, rough. I guess I don't know what you want. Which is great. The dog can't talk, so she decides all of his moods. That's the best part about having a pet. You decide everything it's thinking. Right now, he's sad because he knows I'm leaving. <laughs> what? How do you know he's not bummed about the economy? <laughs> Poor thing just wants to be a dog. She'll call me up. What's he doing? He's reading. <laughs> <laughs> so I just try to be romantic, and that's hard. We have different, different ideas of romance, right? She wanted to shower together. That sounds nice. Have you tried it? Yeah. yeah she showered. I was like the shower assistant. I'm standing in the corner, I'm getting splashed and freezing my butt off, right? Just like... <laughs> I just... What's a loofah? What are you talking about? Are we, are we gonna have sex? I thought the shower meant sex. I didn't... So I thought it'd be romantic if we took a bath together. That was a terrible idea. 
Bathtubs are uncomfortable with one person in them. You put two people, some candles, I pulled three muscles and lit a towel on fire. Hey, listen, I'm Michael Summerlow. Thank you guys very much. How you doing? Good, how are Good you? Good to see you again. Thank, Thank you very much. Me. Michael Somerville, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with Albert Hammond. Thank you again. Thank you for having me. How you been?